Shohei Otani leads uh, the league in home runs. He's slugging 6-12. He has a 2.10 ERA. Uh, when I was on with Mad Dog earlier, Ken Rosenthal, I said, maybe we should lead every show on MLB Network, like with Shohei Otani. It's unbelievable what we're seeing, and we have absolutely not seen this on both sides of the ball in 100 years, and that was the greatest player of all time, Babe Ruth. I, I, this might be the high watermark in Shohei Otani, do you think? I hope not. <laughs> it's so much fun to watch. Him better. But, Brian, I'm with you, and I actually put this on Twitter the other day. I don't think he gets enough attention. No. Because what he is no. doing transcends sport. And to me, this guy should be on the Today Show, right? He <laughs> should be like a national talking point because of the variety of skills that he's displaying. And we talk about the hitting and the pitching all the time. We don't often talk about the base running, which is also extremely good. No. He is just a phenomenon like we have not seen in this sport. And we have amazing athletes in our sport right now, perhaps the greatest athletes in the game's history, and he rises above them all. It's, I mean, when you're watching this, and again, he hits game-winning home runs. Uh, he's an ace on the mound. Um, I don't know, uh, like, but it's just a matter of Dave Valley. I don't want to pour water on it. Can this continue on a regular basis where you're putting him out there on the mound to pitch and getting him enough? All right, let's go to this now. It, just, it hasn't happened since 1918 and 1919. So 1919, Babe Ruth had a 2.97 ERA with 133 innings. And he had 29 home runs. It led the league. He led the league in slugging with, at 657. But Otani right now has a 2.10 ERA. ERA plus, again, is ERA plus. Actually, he's much better. Back then, it was a pitching era. Uh, and the hitting, again, he leads the league in total bases. It hasn't happened since Babe Ruth. And that's a very different era of baseball. Well, BK, I think he's just such a unique talent that there's really nothing he doesn't do at an elite level on a baseball field. He's a big man. He's 6'4", about 245, uh, strong. But why does he have to do everything? You know, you're talking about, well, can he do it every five days? Well, what if he can only do it every eight days? This, this is a club that's not going to go to the World Series. So if he can make my team better every eight days as opposed to every five days and still kind of answer the bell as a DH and do what he does offensively. So you you would all right. I, 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 I like that you have a right plan. Out. No, this right. is this is too good. I mean, yeah. this is for as a baseball fan. This is just too good not to have continue. Uh, I mean, just what he did in Boston the other day. I played mm. a fan. I was a Red Sox in 1994. He hit a ball that was like two inches off the ground and just flips it. He has so much power, so much extension, so much plate coverage. This ball goes over the wall. And, and I think it was the next night or maybe two days later, he ends up ripping one to right field. He hits the ball to all fields. He drives the ball. You mentioned total bases. Yes, leading the league in, with 13 homers and total bases. Right. So it's not just one and done. A lot of people are hitting home runs. This guy's hitting doubles. He's hitting triples. And he's just doing everything. Let him keep doing it. But I like that you have a plan in – easing up on the pitching because I just feel like it, it, it he can't I don't know if he can do it he hasn't he's he's pitched very sporadically even through his career so far Steve he can pitch great and he can hit great can he hit and pitch at the same time in the normal way we see it I just don't think it's physically possible well, they, they they need him to pitch more than hit right I mean yeah, but that's not his problem no, I that's know, bad if you say well like we really, really need pitching oh you know I'm, I but don't know I'm leading mean, the league in hitting why why <laughs> why not just like you know I understand what you're saying every eight days but why not just Go for as long as it'll go. I think you know? you're going to lose him because well, I think you're going to burn him out and he'll be back on the injured list. What, what are the he's, things he's been on the I, list. after he came off of Tommy John, right, you, you were wondering, is he going to be able to start again or is he just going to swing the bat? One of the thoughts I had was, well, what if, right, what, what's the most important thing we keep talking about on a team nowadays is the bullpen. What if he was your closer? Could you I, imagine? I, I've said that all along. Him coming oh, out right, of the dugout. Yeah. Or a relief ace or a super reliever. And then you use him sporadically, and you don't have to have this buildup for today is the day he's starting. It'll be even more confusing, though. Because you think that's worse? When do you hit and when do you use him in the bullpen? Is that worse? Now, Brian. I don't know. I'm thinking it's better. It's not? Let me ask Dave. You didn't pitch, but you played. What do well, you think? Well, I, I know the value of a good starter, but you need five of those, right? If I have a closer, I, I have – the ability to use him much more often and can have a bigger impact, mm. I think, maybe over the course of the season. Okay. Here's my problem, Brian, with what yep. you're raising here. Why are we setting limits? Because if we would have set limits, hold on, if we would have set limits at the start of the season, we would never have expected this. No. Part of the True. deal when he signed with the Angels, remember, that was a great free agent extravaganza, a bizarre trying to get this guy signed. 
And he signed with the Angels, and he gave the, the condition to every club that I have to do both. I want to do both. That's why I'm coming here, to do both. So they're going to have him do both. And they said at the start of the year, Joe Madden and Perry Manazian, hey, we're not going to set limits. We're not going to be stupid about it, but we're going to try to get the most out of this particular player who is a unique player in our game. And I don't want to look right now and say, eh, it's not good. Not be stupid. Again, don't want to be reckless or anything like that, but let's keep going here. You asked me a question, right? I asked you a question. What was the question again? <laughs> it was, it was, the question was, why set limits? Because you'll break down. That's why. And then he'll be gone. Like he was Nick. for last year, or he won't be pitching for a full year. That's why. Other than that, yeah, let, let it ride. Let him pitch every fifth day. And what, him, what's your plan? Because I mean, Dave said, I like Dave's plan, maybe eight days. You don't rest, want to know my 10 plan. Days. Your plan is to shut him down as a pitcher. I know how you think. That is my plan. Yeah. That's my plan. Because he hits too well and he runs too well. He does everything you've, too well. You've Except drained the that. entertainment out of the sport with all of your other theories. This is taken away now, too. <laughs> I'm thinking about the individual laborer here, Ken. No. I'm like you. Uh, no, it's not ruthless efficiency. I can't see it happening. Uh, uh, while if I was trying to transition, I would augment off what Dave said and what Dan O'Dowd has said many times. I'd have him be a super reliever and try to see if mentally he can hold that. Because, again, I think it's just immense pressure having to go out and start, you know, every fifth day. And then you're pushing a start back. It seems to be constantly there's a blister. You've got to do this. I think it's too much on one human being. And if it's not, let it ride. All right, StatCast is powered by uh, The individual laborer wants wow. to keep doing this, by the way. Then, then, let, then, <laughs> then let him work. Let, let, the, let, the, let, let the workers work. Uh, here's, so he's 13 home runs, number one uh, in the American League, number one in total bases, and number one in barrel percentage, too. <laughs> he's, he's hitting scorching line drives. I just want to point out, like, his ERA 2.10 as compared to uh, Babe Ruth. Um, I, I, was, I was actually surprised there because as I was looking at it, I didn't realize ERA plus does, you know, compared to the run scoring environment. His pitching is much more impressive this year yes. than Babe Ruth's in 1919. Yes. It's way above league average, whereas Ruth, you know, was. But you want to eliminate the right side of that screen. Yeah, for, for the sake of the player. Nah. You know, nah. it's also interesting. He's yeah. faced 110 batters. He's given up two home runs. He's had 163 plate appearances, and he's got 13. 